Autograph collecting has always played a big part in the football world. From Ronaldo to Messi, it's been every kid's dream to own an autograph from their favourite footballer at some point. But after asking every football club in Europe for autographs, I wanted to see just how many signatures I could collect from around the globe. So over the past five months, I asked every football club in the world for autographs, and this is what they sent. Alright, so over the next few weeks or so, we're going to be aiming to contact just about every single football club in the top 25 leagues around the world. So without going on any further, let's get into it. But before I could jump straight into emailing clubs, I was going to need their contact info. So after a few quick Google searches, I began creating a list of all the email addresses of clubs around the world. From there we typed up an email template that we could send to football clubs to ask for autographs and along with the help of Google Translate I started sending out emails. From the Premier League to the Chinese Super League over the next few weeks I sent out autograph requests to pretty much every top flight club in the world. But even as the first replies started coming in, it was pretty clear that clubs needed me to send them a stamped addressed envelope first if they were going to send me anything back. So after picking up a couple envelopes and some stamps from different countries, I began writing letters to clubs asking for autographs. So inside each letter that I sent to every football club I included a note saying which players autographs I wanted as well as the self-addressed envelopes that they requested. Then after finishing all our letters it was time to go to the post office. All that was left to do was wait, but it didn't take long before stuff started showing up. We got one from Manchester. Yo, that's from the Netherlands. Two from Poland. We got one from the Czech Republic. We got a couple from Germany. That's from Switzerland. Yo, we got two from France. I think this one is from Austria. Hey, this one's from Spain. So starting out with clubs from the English Premier League, some of the first autographs we received were from Manchester United. So coming straight from the Aeon training complex in Carrington, we received some very nice hand-signed signatures from players like Bruno Fernandes and Paul Pogba. Also coming from Manchester United, we did get this pre-printed autograph from Marcus Rashford as well as two hand-signed cards from both Aaron Wan-Bissaka and Daniel James. Even though I'm a Liverpool fan, I gotta give Man United a lot of respect for sending these out to me. Hopping over to the blue side of Manchester now, Man City came through and sent us two pre-signed prints from Phil Foden and Raheem Sterling. Overall, these were some pretty nicely designed cards, so thanks to Man City for these ones. Next up, taking a look at some London clubs now, West Ham United sent us out three hand-signed prints from Mark Noble, Felipe Anderson and Jack Wilshere. These were sent to me just before the end of last season, so unfortunately we didn't get the chance to get current Ballon d'Or contender Jesse Lingard's signature, but respect to West Ham for sending me these. Also coming from London, Crystal Palace sent us out this pre-signed card with signatures from the entire squad, so pretty happy with this one. Next up, coming from the Cobham training ground, Chelsea sent us four pre-signed cards from Fikio Tomori, Marcus Alonso, Willy Caballero and Croatia's Mateo Kovacic. Some pretty nice card designs on these and props to such a big club like Chelsea for sending these out to us. So the final English club to send us out something came from Aston Villa and we did of course get one of the league's best footballers right now, Jack Grealish. It would have been nice to get a hand-signed signature from Jack, but overall it's not bad from Villa. Switching over to Scotland now, the only club in the SPFL who sent us anything came from Glasgow Rangers who sent us a pre-signed print of manager and former Liverpool player Steven Gerrard. As you can imagine as a Liverpool fan, I was very pleased with this. 
Now moving over to Ligue 1 in France and coming from one of my personal favourite players, we did of course get a hand-signed signature from World Cup winner Kylian Mbappe. This card was definitely my favourite autograph that we received while making this video, so I'm very grateful to Kylian for signing this for me. Also coming from the French League, Olympic Marseille sent us out one of the biggest packages of the video. So Marseille sent us a full collection of pre-signed cards from their current squad as well as a poster of their team. So merci to Marseille for this one. Finally from France, FC Metz came through with a whole set of squad cards featuring 9 hand signed autographs. Card designs on these was pretty simple, but that brings an end to everything we got from France. So moving on from France and moving over to the Netherlands, the Dutch national team unfortunately didn't send us any autographs, but they did end up giving us two very nice posters. These were reversible with the women's team on the back, so overall a nice touch from the Netherlands. The only other letter we received from the Netherlands and the only Eredivisie club to reply to us came from PSV Eindhoven. So PSV sent us a pre-signed card from former Arsenal player Daniel Malen and the design on this card was one of the cleanest we received in my opinion. Finally moving over to Germany now, Die Mannschaft were also one of the few national teams to respond to us, sending us three very nice hand signed cards from Julian Brandt, Ilke Gundogan and Chelsea's Timo Werner. So a big thank you to the German national team for these and I hope they do well at the Euros. Current Champions League holders Bayern Munich were the next club to send us autographs. Coming from Bayern, we secured two signatures from some of the world's best players right now in the form of Robert Lewandowski and Alfonso Davies. Altogether, these were two of the best autographs I was able to add to my collection, so I'm very grateful to Bayern for mailing these out to me. So next, coming from my favourite Bundesliga team and the only club who actually commented on my last autograph video, we have Borussia Dortmund. So Dortmund sent us cards from Jadon Sancho, Thorgan Hazard and one of the best players in the world right now, Erling Haaland. As always with Dortmund, a very classy side and a team I have a lot of respect for. Arriving with us just before the end of the last transfer window, Bayer Leverkusen were the next club to pull through for us. We did of course get Chelsea's Kai Havertz as well as cards from Sven Bender, Lucas Radecki, Lucas Alario and Kerem Demerbay. Coming from a team named after an energy drink now, Orbi Leipzig sent us four hand signed cards from Yusuf Polson, Nordi Mukiele, Lazar Samardzic and manager Julian Nagelsmann. Not gonna lie, these were some of my favourite card designs from any Bundesliga club so a big props to Leipzig for doing a good job on these. Borussia Mönchengladbach, Stuttgart and FC Cologne were also a couple clubs from the Bundesliga who were happy to send us some stuff. So across the three clubs we picked up signatures from players like Alisson Plié, Jonas Hector and Nicolas Gonzalez. These clubs had some pretty great card designs so I was happy to add them to my collection. So the final few sets of cards from the Bundesliga were sent to us from Union Berlin, Freiburg, Augsburg and Wolfsburg. The Bundesliga pulled through for us big time in this video and every club we reached out to sent us back hand signed autographs which I'm very happy with. Surprisingly the only La Liga team who got back to us happened to be Sevilla. So from Sevilla we managed to secure a signature from a 2018 World Cup runner up coming from Ivan Rakitic. Overall seeing as this was the only signature we got from La Liga I have a lot of respect for Sevilla for sending this out to me. Similarly with Switzerland, while we didn't get replies from too many clubs, FC Basel and BSC Young Boys did fortunately mail us a couple cards. All of these cards were hand signed, so overall not bad from Switzerland. The only Austrian team to get back to us happened to be Rapid Vienna and like most other clubs we got three hand signed prints back off them. Card designs on these was pretty unique and seeing as they were the only Austrian team to send us anything I was very pleased with these ones. The only letter we received from the Czech Republic did in fact get sent to us directly from the national team. So the Czech Republic sent us out a full set of unsigned squad cards which included players like West Ham's Thomas Suchek and Vladimir Kufal. 
Finally today, three teams from the Ekstraklasa in Poland were the last clubs to answer our autograph request. So from Poland, we managed to receive autographs from Schlausk Wrocław as well as Legia Warsaw and Lech Poznan. Altogether, I did actually think some of the card designs we got off Polish clubs were some of the cleanest we saw in this video, so I'm very happy with these ones. But with that, that does bring an end to everything we received over the past five months. So after five months of asking football clubs for autographs, this is how our final collection looked. Overall, we managed to secure some pretty decent autographs and picked up signatures from some of the best footballers in the world along the way. So out of the 25 leagues we contacted, we ended up receiving stuff back off a total of 9 different leagues and picked up autographs from players across 30 different nationalities. But anyway guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.